Hey everybody, I am Scott Stan, the original Tombstone Tourist, and today we are at Sunset Memorial Park in Smithfield, North Carolina, the very definition of a small town. And we are here to visit the great actress Ava Gardner. Now, you might remember Ava Gardner from such movies as Night of Iguana, The Killer, The Barefoot Contessa, Oh, so many great films, 25, 27 more that I can't even list off. And who, who did she act with? Oh my God, a total group of A-listers from Hollywood. Uh, Humphrey Bogart, Gregory Peck, um, Clark Gable, Robert Mitchum, Robert Taylor. I could go on. I could recite the whole IMDb for hours. So you're probably wondering, Scott, how did Ava Gardner go from small town America to Tinseltown, Hollywood? Great question. Well, she was born in a family of seven. She was the youngest daughter, and her father was a sharecropper, and they lived a very poor life here. Now, her sister, older sister Beatrice, married a photographer in New York City, and she went up to New York City to visit with them. And her husband said, hey, would you like me to take your picture and I'll give it to you as a gift for your mother? And she said, great idea. So she sat in his professional studio, took a, a shot, and he liked that photograph so much, he hung it in the front window of his shop in Manhattan. So who walks by but a talent agent? He took one look at it and goes, oh my gosh, this woman is beautiful. Uh, this and that happened. Next thing you know, that photograph landed on Louis B. Mayer, the Hollywood mogul, his desk. And he said, oh my gosh, she can't talk, she can't dance, she can't sing, that girl's perfect, and signed her to a contract. Now the funny thing was, her accent was so thick, you practically needed subtitles. So they hired a speech coach and uh, 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 a couple of other uh, vocal coaches and next thing you know, she's kind of in the background for about 10, 15 pictures, and then she hits it big, and from there, uh, you know, the story writes itself. So I could wax poetic about her career and her life, and it was just really fabulous. Um, but let's talk about her marriages, okay? Her first marriage was to Mickey Rooney, and that lasted a total maybe one year and as we all know Mickey Rooney to be polite is one of the biggest a-holes ever to come out of Hollywood he treated women very badly and Ava was no exception he cheated on her he had a drinking issue he loved to gamble um, in fact when Mickey Rooney passed away he only had thirteen thousand dollars to his name he didn't have homes cars anything he was living in a spare room with his, uh, uh, I believe, son or daughter, um, but he died a very poor man. Uh, the second one, Artie Shaw. Now, Artie Shaw was a big band leader, and if Mickey Rooney was bad, Artie Shaw was worse. Um, that lasted almost two years, I want to say, but again, it was very short term. And then who's number three? Francis Albert Sinatra. Yes, Frank Sinatra. They got married. Now this was a huge scandal. Um, the Catholic Church was really angry because Frank Sinatra left his wife to be with Ava Gardner. Uh, the tabloids have a field day with it. and But you know what? It didn't hurt either of their careers. They were married for seven years. And uh, part of the reason they split up is Ava was a very strong, independent personality fun-loving, witty, and Frank Sinatra treated her like she was a porcelain doll, like she would always break, and she had a, just a real hard time with that. A number of other things. You should read the biography on Ava. tells the whole story, or come to my website, thetombstonetourist.com. Now, so in the end, what was Ava really like? Ava was boisterous, fun-loving, She's been described by many of her uh, uh, friends and family and whatnot as the wild one. 
and in a very good way. I mean, that's why Frank Sinatra was attracted to her. She could tell a joke, she was witty, um, she was just, she was the whole package. Sadly, she died uh, in her mid-60s in England, uh, where she resided for the last, you know, five, ten years, whatever it was, but she died from all the effects of smoking. Uh, she retired four years before her passing, and she suffered a stroke, and uh, she basically lived alone with her housekeeper and died in England, and then she was brought back here, and as you saw, there's the other Gardner Monument behind us. Her whole family is all right here, and, but this is Ava's uh, uh, final resting place, and uh, if you want more information, please come to my website, thetombstonetourist.com. I have all video clips from her great movies. I have interviews, I have photographs, I have articles, you name it. Come to our website, thetombstonetourist.com. I'm Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Tourist. Thank you for the visit. Oh my God, I almost forgot. There's an Ava Gardner Museum here in town. Let's go find it, come on.